This is Victor Campos, and it's on to the next lesson in our HTML5 project. This is what I have so far. Uh, I want to add an image, uh, that is, I want to add below the image a link to a website. So if I were to add the link at this next line here, it would actually run into the same line as where I've got my picture. So I need to first uh, break the line and move the text below. Uh, where I've got my current picture. So that requires the BR tag. This is our fourth example of a tag that is singular. So BR, break, that gives us a new line. Sort of like pressing that enter that wasn't really doing much before. Next line, I will add the text that will be our anchor text that once we click it'll take us somewhere. And we'll say visit SDCE. We're going to make it so that when you click, it goes to the college's website. This uh, requires the A tag. The A tag starts here and ends here. So we've wrapped the A tag around the anchor text that will create a link. This requires the property. So right after the letter A, I'll add the space. And we'll do href equals quote, end quote. Hypertext reference. We've just made that text into an active link and we want it to go somewhere. We want it to go to http colon slash slash sdce.edu, the whole address. Plus we want the link to open in its own separate window so that it doesn't uh, take over our current window. So we will add after the href, we'll add target equals quote end quote. And within these quotes we'll say underscore blank. Let's save and run. So there's our picture. If we scroll below the picture, there's our text. If we click on the text, a new window opens up. And if you notice here, we've got a new tab with our new content. We browse the new content, close it, and we're still back on our site. So that was adding a hyperlink.